Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Alien Invasion Pro 34mm Complete from Skull Fingerboards. Make sure that you're subscribed for future content and let's get into it. This is their Alien Invasion graphic here. You can see the slight scuffing here, this is actually how it arrived. And likewise on the other side. Now aside from it arriving damaged, I do have a few things that were wrong with this board. Number one, the tool that it came with did not fit the lock nuts, so I had to find another one, which is no big deal, I have a few laying around. Once I was able to find a tool that actually properly fit the lock nuts, the lock nuts didn't even fit the trucks. Two of the four lock nuts fit the trucks perfectly, two of the four did not. Now I've had other sets where this was the case, so I didn't panic, I rotated the lock nuts to a different set of the trucks. And lo and behold, two of the lock nuts still did not fit on the trucks no matter what I did. Now I had extra nuts laying around, but again, this is like three red flags right off the bat. I think the deck itself is fine. It has pretty low kicks and concave, which is not my favorite. The trucks are serviceable, but the bushings kind of slide. Two things that I actually quite like. The grip tape feels fantastic. It has a silky touch to it. The bearings on these things actually spin quite well once you get them to screw onto the trucks. Now this thing was listed for $27. So in the end, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for it. I have, however, purchased cheaper completes with nothing wrong with them at all. It seems like such a missed opportunity, in my opinion, because a lot of their graphics are nice, the board is fine, and like I mentioned, the wheels and the grip tape felt great. But to miss so heavily on some of the smaller details, so if you're going to spend $25 and that's your budget, I would definitely shy away from the skull fingerboards. Now, this might feel like slight overreaction, but again, this is just my opinion. You know, and I just picked the thing up and noticed that the grip tape is peeling. I can say hands down, this is definitely the worst complete I've ever bought. LC Boards has a complete for $17, and none of these things happen to it. I guess in the end, you win some lose some i definitely had some low expectations but moving forward i would be probably avoiding this company this would be a great time if you were someone who's already purchased a skull fingerboard and you actually had a good experience i'd love you to leave that in the comment section i don't want this to come off in any way as jaded or biased so if you had a pleasant experience with this company make sure you leave that as well for anybody else my personal opinion it gets a big miss i feel like there's certainly other budget fingerboard companies out there that you can buy a complete for that would be absolutely better than this if there's a product out there that you would like to see me review make sure you drop that in the comment section as well and be sure to stay subscribed for future content, and we'll see you in the next one.